Traditional German food is reportedly heavy and rather fatty, with dishes like sauerkraut, knuckle of pork, and fried potatoes. Typical German dishes have a lot of meat in it, but do Germans still like their hearty traditional home cooking? The average German eats 61 kilos of meat a year. That's twice as much today as in 1950, but less than the European Union average of 65 kilos. Germans eat 16% less vegetables than their neighbors. So what do they eat? My favorite dish is um, roast pork with potatoes made from my mom. Spaghetti with tomato sauce. My favorite dish is pilimini, the Russian kitchen. That's pretty international. And statistics confirm the trend towards world cuisine. A recent survey found that the most popular dish was meaty, but not very German, spaghetti bolognese. So, what's up with traditional German cuisine? Vigor is off to Rostock in Mecklenburg-Vorpommern to hook up with Michelin-starred chef Tilman Hahn, who might have the answer. So, how popular is traditional German food? Generally speaking, I think it's still very popular with the German people. They like their own flavors, but uh, lots of the traditions are almost getting lost because uh, there's a lot of mixing with other uh, uh, cultures, which is something I like, of course, but we're trying to preserve these traditions by uh, refreshing these, uh, uh, refreshing these things, uh, presenting them new in a new way, and cooking them in a modern fashion. Ah, okay. And here it is: Mecklenburg salt grass lamb with cassoulet and white and green beans. A new generation of chefs is giving traditional German cuisine a modern makeover. But does this movement extend beyond the country's top restaurants? As the name suggests, traditional home cooking is made at home. So I'm off to some private homes to see who is willing to cook me proper German meal. Can you do some cooking for me? No, no. Okay. I don't know cooking. Can you do some homemade cooking for me? <laughs> I'm desperate for German home cooking. Can you help me? Okay, come on. Yeah. Vigor hits the culinary jackpot. Red cabbage and potato dumplings coming up. Why do you still prepare traditional German dishes? Yeah, first of all, it's a long family tradition. Uh -huh. And I like the taste. Uh, it's more intense. Tradition and taste. But do all Germans find these things important? Traditional German food is very versatile. People in northern Germany enjoy curly kale with sausages. People in the East rather like sweet dumplings. Maultaschen are famous in southern Germany. And people from the Rhineland in western Germany prefer a tasty cheese sandwich. I'm going to ask four passers-by how well they know German cuisine. Our first test person takes the cheese sandwich on a trip around Germany before stopping in Baden-Württemberg. She should have continued on to the Rhineland. Our second candidate takes the parsley off the curly kale and then way down south before settling on somewhere between Hamburg and Berlin. But is this really the home of parsley? Another culinary odyssey. The next dish ends up in Austria. Let's hope they enjoy it. Finally, the Swabian pasta speciality Maultaschen enjoys a brief holiday in Hessen before returning to their cracked home in Baden-Württemberg. A disappointing performance, but maybe down to a poor grasp of German geography. Summing up, under tough competition from international dishes, German cuisine has smartened up its act. Germans are rediscovering old favourites, and the country's top chefs are leading the re-education process. It's more than sauerkraut and sausage. Guten Appetit. The search goes on. The search for the truth about Germany.